Hello, John here, also known as Venonator, and welcome back to the TGC Tours. So we're into round number three of the Week Opa Challenge at Lake Cadaver, and we have had a pretty tough week. We did manage to make the cut, just, we were really on the borderline, and we were on 7 under at the time, and we got a 4 under round. We are on 11 under overall at the moment. But um, yeah, none of the rounds have been particularly strong ones. I've found this course very challenging. Um, not so much for everyone else in the competition, it's just, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, this is my bogey, bogey course, apparently. And let's see what the settings are like for round number four. So we're on the white tees, in set four, low wind speeds from the south, and everything else is default. So let's see what the defaults are. Defaults, fairways are firm, greens are normal, green speed is medium fast. Okay, so let's see how we get on here. But yeah, for whatever reason, this week has been a real struggle for me. Um, at the moment, we are in 45th place, I believe. So, not the greatest position to be in. Final round when it comes to like the actual final the scores, etc. What's going to happen out there? Looking forward to finding out. So at the end of the day, it's really just about playing this last round, getting this week over with. Hopefully, yeah, it ends up being a positive final round for us. Okay, that's like a pretty good shot. Stacking. Yeah, happy with that one. Done. Well judged. Puts about five feet. And there we go. That's good. That was quite a tricky little pot at the end there. And yeah, we got a birdie. So, solid start. The conditions are pretty okay at the moment. So, like, wind isn't, isn't high at all. So, that should make it easier to predict how to tame our shots. Okay, so if I go Fleetwood. Pretty decent shot. Yeah, right in the fairway, that's fine. Here we go. Setting up with okay, so we're at 11 up, so it's 147. Mm, okay, I'm going to go with the gap wedge. Unfortunately, did not hit that with full power. Right, Even if I did, it wouldn't have, I don't think it would have got there. Here. But that's okay. Try and get a par here, really. And it's oh. looking very good. That was almost a birdie. That's a very good effort. And 12 under is your current score. Yeah, solid. Solid par there. So yeah, I did struggle with them first two holes in the first two yeah, rounds. And yeah, doing better in the second two rounds, which is good to see. Ah, no, I've hit that too fast. This could go into the, the rubbish part <laughs> of the... The golf course, How golf bad. course, and it's not. Luckily, I managed to get it into the fairway. 140 yards to the pin. Okay, if I do this, lower it slightly. Ah, no. That's a complete slip, really, when I hit that. Setting up for our third shot. Um, I'm going to go with a flop shot. Go with a... Ah, no, I completely mishit it. That's a shame. All right, this is your fourth shot. That was not a good shot Six either. Feet to the cup. Oh, and wow, I'm really lucky that went in. That was, that was just a disaster hole, to be honest. I was mishitting every single shot. But okay, that's fine, it's All done, right. and we got a pass, so. I mean, that's definitely a birdie opportunity hole, that one. Usually get a birdie in that. I've got an eagle, in fact, on that hole in the past. But it's okay. We got past it without losing a shot as such. Depend on how you look at it. Okay, so this is going to go too far, probably. Yeah. Well, no good. And second shot here on the fourth. It's okay, though. And skipped really far. Okay. And this is your third shot. That's a decent chip shot, though. Oh, very close. That's a nice chip. Well done. Shame that wasn't a birdie. That was very good. Pleased with that one. 
But yeah, overall, there's some positives to take from this. There really is. My swing timing, my tempo has still been pretty solid. I've had some good chips that I've played. I managed to make the cut for the fourth or fifth, well, I think about fifth time, maybe sixth time in a row. So th there are positives to take from this week. And I'll be taking those into next week and starting again and aiming to get a, a better result in the next one. Right, here we go. Let's try and get a long putt. That'd be nice. Oh, shame. And this is about four feet. Decent. All right. Solid putt. Yeah, so, I mean, we also, in the last round, even though we ended up with four under, we got double bogey. In and it was very consistent before that double bogey. We had a lot of really good par and birdie holes in a row. Six. We only actually got one bogey, I believe. Oh, no, we didn't. We got a double... No, we got a bogey on the last hole as well, I believe. Just. Nice we we're here. very close to getting a par. Okay. Don't need to go quite that far. To the left. Ah, no, hit it slow. It would have been nice to go that far to the left, actually. It would have worked out better. Okay. All right, on the green and under regulation, you got a putt for eagle, and that's fantastic. Yeah, Here it's a putt go. for eagle. It's Let's always a chance. Okay, so it really needs to go to the right if it's going to go in. Oh, oh. wow, that sped past the hole. I wasn't expecting it to... Wow. Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, let's get back on the green. That is crazy um, speed. That chip, chip. That's a shame. Oh, well. Okay, it's a par. Under is your current score. It's easy to get frustrated and uh, lose your cool a little bit, and I'm happy that I didn't there. Uh, par three on this one. Okay. No, it's okay. This one's heading a little bit Decent left. shot. It's on the green and it's looking better than That's I expected, actually. Work just fine on the approach. All right, this one's about nine feet from the cup. And good. They didn't nice turn as much as I was That's worried it was going to there. So That's good. So we've got a birdie. So yeah, second birdie of the round. That one you're sitting at 13. They're definitely a low, um, I say low scoring, I guess. Um, there's not as many birdies and eagles, not as low scoring a week as I'm used to the at the moment. Out right in front of us here. Let's see what we can do. Definitely aim to try and improve Let's upon that next way, week. This one's about a hundred yards from the pin. bit too far to the left, hit it too fast. It's on the green, it's Safely probably going to be... Oh, actually, I was going to say it's going to be a par, but this is not an easy one. So yeah, the pin set four is a bit of a tricky one. It's hitting it in the awkward parts of the green. That's okay, though. Decent enough. Good stuff. Okay, so we're two under at the moment through eight, which is, you know, it's it's workable. It looks like my typical rounds at the moment is going to be like four to six under or something like that. But yeah, I've also been playing career mode when I've not been playing the TGC tours, and I've been really enjoying it, actually. Um, so currently in second place on well, it's a medium difficulty, I guess it's called, or pro difficulty for the AI, uh, while having um, the actual areas. like the play mechanics be the same as okay. on the TGC tour. I always play on that difficulty. But yeah, playing pretty well actually on there. But yeah, that's been really fun. And yeah, that's a decent okay, chip shot. One to save the hole. This putt's tracking. Yeah, decent. The putt drops. There's your par. Okay, so that's a solid front nine. So we've we've got a lot yeah, of pars. You sit at thirteen. Of course, I don't. I wouldn't usually aim for pars, and that's it. But yeah, we've been playing very like basic, solid golf recently. 
this one is a par three hole. But yeah, not quite the level I've been been putting myself at. That swing was to die for. For instance, uh, last week I got 30 under. Good job. We're on the green. And the week before that, I think I got 30 under as well. So this is a real step backwards feet. in that respect. Yeah, that's going to turn massively. Uh, rolled right by. Good luck here. This is for par. This one's tracking. Another quite frustrating awesome. pot for par. par. We'll take it. Okay. But yeah, still, we're playing fairly well. And yeah, the course as a whole, I've, of course, as I say, I'm not overly go, good at 11. it. But the actual course, I do enjoy it. I like, this is the hole, my favourite hole of the course. Definitely. I love having to hit it over this rock here. There we go. So I've hit that well. I should comfortably get over the rock. Uh, not the best shot, actually. That's unlucky. You didn't deserve that. Oh, well. See where this ends up. This might be heading to a not great place. Yeah, it's this not the. It wasn't the worst effort, actually, in the end. Okay. That's decent. Yeah, so I'm going to have to look into exactly why this particular course has made me struggle. It may be calculating the the elevation is something I need to work on in general. Or it could just be the greens are slippy and I find them tricky. Or it could be a combination of a few things. Or maybe I've just had a bad week. But um, I'll look into it and see what the, the issue may be. But yeah, it's always good to learn new new um, techniques, etc., to get a bit better. Oh, so I actually applied approach. some spin to that to lower the distance, but then accidentally hit 98%, which is something I do yeah, more often one, these nice, days, nice for whatever reason. I think it's to do with how I've figured out how to hit better tempo and like a better swing path. I sort of don't go for 100 and like 2% power anymore. But it does sometimes mean I get lower power than I want as well now. So that was like a full on just 100% power, which is fine. Okay, this is about 160 or so. Okay, so we're looking at 11 up. So 169. So I'm going to go with this, so that would be 167. The wind will pull it back very slightly. I've hit it 97%. Another example of me not quite hitting that full power. Hit it slow as well, which meant it went way too to the right there. Okay. Just keep rolling, but don't go too far away. Yeah, okay. Just go miles away in the end. Here we have a 16-foot putt. Okay, this is looking... Good, yeah, there we go. I thought it was going to just miss then, but yeah, we got there. Okay, so three under. It's, it's something. And 14 is something. There you go, that sums it up, doesn't it? So, it's, yeah, 14 under overall. Yeah. I mean, at least okay, we're under par and we're, we're not... Uh, well, this is the thing. We made the cut, which I keep talking about, but I'm really pleased that I made it. Wow. Oh, I needed that to be a lucky bounce. It wasn't. On the 14th. So that's a flop shot, of course. Decent attempt. It's not that far away from the hole. Here's what you're looking at for birdie. It's a tricky pot because of how quick it goes right next to my feet. It's getting there. And oh, oh close. Right by the hole. Close. Only just and after that one, missed it. Current score. A veritable 14 under par. But yeah, 14 under so far is pretty solid. We've got four more holes to go. We've got a par five ahead of us here. Not sure what position I'll end up in. Probably. 45th or so, just as I've got at the moment. This approaches into an elevated green. 
yeah, this is one of those. Um, this week, these weeks, I'm just sort of going to close it off and not really think about it too much afterwards, probably. And just carry on, start again. Oh wow, that just didn't bounce at all. All right, here we go. This one. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's probably something to do with the elevation that I struggle oh, with. Come on, get in. There we go. Well okay. Played to you. But that was a good putt. And we got a birdie. Fifteen under par is your score. But yeah, I tried to hit that flop shot, um, and yeah, it got nowhere near it. I didn't factor in the elevation enough as to how that was going to stop it good bouncing up. Sixteenth. Bouncing up to the green. That sounded good. Okay. Setting up here just in the light rough. Just gonna go full here. Full flop shot, the the furthest flop shot I can hit it, fifty five yards. And I didn't hit it well, nice unfortunately. This one's twenty. Five feet away. Let's see where this ends up. It's going to go flying past the hole, is it? Yeah, because these greens are awful. They just much power into that putt. And you have to be very accurate with them. There we go. We've got another. We've not got another par by looks of it. So decent again. And clocking in at 15 under par at the moment. I mean. Our first round was the first round. So, lucky that we actually managed to make the cut after that two on the first round. But since then, we've been playing okay. Okay, so I don't know if the distance will be quite enough there. Okay, so if I probably hit that 100%, I might have um, got that where I needed it, really. Decent effort, but it's gone past. Oh. And the only thing left to do is sink this putt. And get your there you go. Okay. Another par. There you go. One more hole to go, and then we'll be finished with this tournament for the week. We can focus on having a better score next time and being happy that we've still got our promo mark at the end of this. Let's see what happens here on the 18th. So there's always a chance that, you know, next week we can get promoted. Who knows? Or at least, you know, build on that success that we had from last week. We are about 140 yards out. Okay, so we're looking at about 13. Up oh, so 153. Right, I'm going to go with this then, and I'm going to add some loft to lower the distance. I've hit it fast. I think this one's going for but it. But the distance is spot on, Here actually. Sink this, and we can write a 67 on that scorecard. It's a very slippy green. Oh no, it's right by the hole. In terms of well, like the, the right, lie wasn't like great, par. but okay, so it's a par in the end. Right, but yeah, that was good. Okay, so a pretty positive final round. Positive um couple of rounds really to get our score a little bit better. Fifteen under. Not near where I wanted it to be, to be honest. If I'd seen that at like if someone had said that was going to be my score at the end of the, the week, at the beginning, when we first started this tournament, I would have been disappointed. And to be honest, I am disappointed by that score. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just one week. We'll come back swinging next week and hopefully we'll have a really good one. Uh, until then, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.